Hi guys, welcome back to the teaching learning. This is Abdul Gafur. I hope you are doing well. You are watching TLS Teaching Learning uh, YouTube channel. So today, uh, early child development, standard five, math. From today onward, I'll be uploading the maximum video about this standard, standard five, because this is very important and covers uh, thirty percent of your test. Okay. So I noticed one question that is really uh, tricky and uh, I found that I must share uh, information about this question. As you can see over here, a teacher gave her students the following equation, Chaham has a 6 dharam, his father has given him a 4 dharam, how many dharams does Chaham have? Apparently it looks, you know, the answer is the merge about, you know, because we are adding these values six and uh, four but this is not actually so I'll be telling you why the merge is not correct answer and uh, the option B is the correct okay and from from where this question has been taken okay so stay connected if you are new to this uh, channel uh, please do subscribe and uh, turn on all the notifications that you can uh, get notified for the uh, upcoming videos so as you can see you know, from a study guide this is screenshot has been taken that is talk about you know to teach children or the teacher has to demonstrate the knowledge about these concept of uh, addition and subtraction means that a teacher has to teach addition and subtraction by using these three rules change problems combine problems and compare problems However, the rest of will be uh, explained into the upcoming video. So let's see what exactly these are. Okay. Uh, now, actually, uh, these ed uh, terms change problems and uh, what do we call combine problem and compare problem. This is actually called the additive schema. And uh, why we use the additive schema to teach the word 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 problems actually it's a framework when you are combining the value when you are adding and decreasing the value when you are uh, joining part and part to make whole or total okay so this is a collective term uh, uh, that is used for the additive scheme okay so we'll be talking about one by one change in the problems okay and why this is a correct answer so as you can see here, this is already explained, okay, this is a schema based instruction, uh, teach your child how to recognize the type of a word problem schema, so they can figure out the basic, basic uh, what we call best strategy to solve this one. So let's understand what is the change problem first, okay. Now the change problem means when value increase and decrease, addition and subtraction, in a simple second combined problems that means when you part and part make a whole total okay this is we call the combined value now over here combined value that means the merge now the change value that means when the end result changes okay now this is there is a very slightly difference between these two terms okay what is the difference and how you can recognize that this problem relates with the combined problem and this problem relate with the change problem so you have to stay connected and the second thing is the compare problems okay now the compare problems is focusing on the differences okay so the difference is okay so I'll be telling you what is the difference okay so as you can see here the change problem even in a combined problem or in a compare problem this is the start value this is the value that has been changed okay when you change this value definitely the end result will be changed okay and this is we call the difference okay this is the first point okay so let's solve okay the problem okay so as i said that the change problem that means increase value and the decrease value so we can teach increase value by three you know that the, uh, applying three methods and similarly uh, the decreasing values okay let's talk about you the first thing that 
we have to let the children to know what is the end value when you are you know combining or adding these two start and the change over here second thing change when the change is missing let the children to guess what exactly the change when we merge the change with the start the result we get the 12 this third rule is that start is missing so what number should be over here we should let the children know or the let the children uh, teach or understand the what number should be over here that we're gonna add to the change that we get the result 11 okay so these are the three uh, rules that we have to teach children by these three things you know we can teach the addition okay first and is unknown when the change is unknown start is unknown let me clear again this is a start this is a change this is the end okay so you can see over here now let's talk about the decreasing when end is unknown when the change is unknown when the starting but over here we are taking apart from it that means we are going to subtract the value now suppose you know there is a 3 and you can uh, read this word problem 3 minus 1 uh, Carly has three ribbons to start. She gave she one ribbon. This is a change. How much is given? One. Now what will be the number? What will be the change? Okay, over here. Let the children know. When the change number is missing, okay, that we, what change number should be that we can minus from the original number or start number and we get the two. Similarly, what will be the start number? Okay, when we minus the change and then we get the result of 11 so by these three uh, you know the uh, sorry two methods increase and a decrease we can teach okay now let's talk about you know the uh, question that why this question is you know about the change problem as you can see here in this question Chaham has a six drum and you know four dharam his father gave him four dharam okay so as you can see here when start and the origin number they are combined the results gets the change this is that's why this is a change problem second rule the value is going to be increased okay that's why this is a change problem third thing okay this has been taken from the principle of the change problem the value is increasing suppose if it says that you know uh, what we call Chaham gave four to his father you know the what we call four dharam to his father then again the value is going to be decrease okay in both cases the problem will be from the rule of the change keep in mind because you are not going to uh, solve solve the problem you are in this standard you will be evaluated based on your knowledge based on your practices based on your the curriculum implementation so you are not going to be evaluated as a student you are going to be evaluated as a teacher so you have to be very careful now apparently it looks a merge okay it looks a merge but let's see we'll talk about the combined problem now now combined problem as i said <coughs> that when part part you know combines that makes the whole okay now over here now look at this one when these are the part one and part two when combine these two parts okay that makes the whole similarly when there's a one change again change is missing what number or what number we should add into the starting or in a start that we get the result of the 20 now you're confused right that then what is the, what is the you know the, the difference between and the combined problem and the uh, what we call the change problem okay this is really need, you need to understand okay now now there's a big difference between okay so please stay connected I'm going to tell you okay uh, according to this you can see this can be merged as well this can be merged right because you are going to merge part and part whole this is a merge as well as you know but it is not like that okay let's talk about you know the 
of change problem versus the combined problem. Now, as I said, okay, there's a big difference. Okay, now the change problem is focusing on the end result, this one. What number is going to be, you know, that the add or you know that the uh, or what we call subtract that gives the this result. Okay, this is talking about the change. However, the combined problem is talking about the you know that the parts you know part one part one what parts are combined to gives the end result that gives the total so that is a very big difference with okay? the change problem is focusing on the end result however the combined problem is focusing on to the parts you know part one only as you can see over here the change problem was change in quantity where the focus is in the finding the difference between two quantities okay after change has occurred okay so this is the focus on already but it shows the change quantity over here however involves combining or adding quantities now combining and adding quantity now suppose we can combine you know the two halves we can combine the two quarters we com can combine you know other parts of that way. so this is talking when you are combining that means then you are going to merge part 1 and part 2 then it gives you the total so what keywords you gonna focus on it first for the change problems you have to focus that change okay and the end result okay increase decrease these are the keywords you can recognize the problems okay related with the change category for the combined problems you have to focus on the total combine and the merge so these keywords will help you to you know that the what we call segregate or aggregate information regarding you know the principle one and two now let's talk about you know the compare problem now so the compare problems are when two sets are compared to find the difference okay now what are the two set this is again origin and less when you come when we compare these two okay and we get the difference okay now let's talk about you know how examples you can see what a compare might look like in the first problem we know some of the information we know that one dog has a three uh, spots so it i think this will be better again difference then greater set this is the change one then lesser set okay the first principle for you know to understand the compare always you know the greater set always comes first because when we are subtracting the value okay over here when we are subtracting so the lesser value will be subtract from the greater value and then we'll be getting the difference okay so the children should know that which one is a lesser value which one is a greater value where we have put the lesser value where we have to the greater value and where we have write the difference okay so this is another when we are comparing you know the teaching the subtraction over here now suppose you know the small dog has a three stop this is the lesser set the larger dog has a seven stop now when we are going to teach to compare these value we should let the children know that which value has to come first so the greater value has to come first the student must should must know the second lesser should value should be you know the subtract from the greater value However, whatever the results we get, that's the difference. Okay. Similarly, you know, Sai has you know uh, three more pencils than Brody. Sai has a seven pencil. How many pencil does Brody have? If you're gonna see over here, that means the four over here. So that is the another strategy they have to recognize that which is the lesser value and how we can subtract from them. So, so these were the three principle and uh, i'm sure these principles are going to help you to uh or what we call the answer uh, these questions related with the additive schema if you have anything regarding you know this uh, domain standard 5 please drop the comments or the contact detail has been given okay so feel free to discuss further about you know that we'll, we'll be meeting the next lesson till that stay blessed and take care